Let me show you an interesting measuring tool today. This is something that a lot of shops don't have unless you're doing calibration in-house on your own tools. We have this guy, Sterrett 716. This is called an indicator tester. It is basically a giant micrometer. If you think about your indicators around the workshop, you use your indicators every day for measuring things, for aligning things. You assume that they're very accurate because they are graduated in tenths or microns or whatever it is, ever scale you want to work with. Um, but how do you know your indicator is accurate? Well, that's what this tool is for. This is what you would use to see if the indicator itself is accurate. This is a micrometer head that is direct reading in ten thousandths of an inch. So each graduation here is one ten thousandth of an inch. And these graduations here, the larger ones, would be one thousandth. So you have a huge range here in between one thousandth of an inch that you just don't get on a regular micrometer. So this makes it nice and easy to read a very fine measurement in a very large way that's easily visible and easy to read. I might go so far to say this could be the most accurate mechanical measuring tool. I know somebody out there is going to point out something else that they found that's, that's more accurate or you know reads directly in tenths. Maybe they do. I'm, I'm curious to see if anybody knows of anything like that, I'd like to see it. I would argue that you could read in 50 millionths with this because it's pretty easy to see in between the tenths graduations. But regardless, most indicators, as far as I'm aware of, are calibrated to, you know, about a tenth most of the time anyway, unless you're getting into something that's like a millimus, you know, reading in millions uh, or tens of millions or something like that. There is normally an attachment that goes on this that I do not have. I also kind of don't like the attachment that they have, but for today I think we can get away with using this magnetic mount here, this Noga base. And the idea is that you can use this micrometer head to check the travel distance reading on your indicators. So then we can move our indicator here so that we're on a usable number like zero. So if this indicator is zeroed out and the uh, tester is zeroed out, if I move this one thousandth up here, we should see a one thousandth movement on the indicator also, which is pretty close. If we go back to zero on the mic, you would see zero on the indicator. And I was a little bit off, but it's the same amount off. So we moved a thousandth, if that makes sense. So interesting little tool. Most of the time, we're not using indicators to measure distance. Uh, we're usually using them for lining things up or setting angles or, you know, setting the tram on head or something like that. But this will tell you if you do need to measure distance with a, an indicator, you'd be able to actually check it with this. One thing that's interesting about this, this is not just a regular micrometer inside a large barrel and thimble. I did get the opportunity to work on some parts for these and see the assembly on these units when I worked at Starrett. But this is actually the spindle in this micrometer. I mean, you can see the size of the, uh, the spindle here is giant compared to a regular micrometer. Just to give you some scale reference here, that's kind of the difference that you're looking at you know, from, I don't know what this is, quarter inch, maybe up to almost half inch on this one. And it's a large thread. So you have a giant precision ground thread spindle on this mic combined with a large barrel and a large thimble that gives you the direct reading. And I'm not sure how they get the alignment between the barrel and the thimble so nice. They do an excellent job. If you look at the spacing on this, you have maybe 10, 15 thousandths between these two pieces and it has to spin and not wobble and be aligned up over the whole one inch travel of this mic. Um, it's a pretty impressive assembly that they do. So yeah, I'm interested to hear if anybody else knows of another mechanical, small, portable, simple tool like this that will measure down to these increments. Maybe an indicator itself is the, the other thing I can think of. You know, the millimus uh, indicators are known for being very accurate. 
but other than an indicator, I'm not sure what you would use. There are some super micrometers out there. I think a lot of the ones that I've seen are the newer laser ones, so I don't know how the old mechanical ones work. It may be a similar head style. But I just wanted to show this. This is something that you wouldn't see unless you work in a big company where they calibrate their own tools in-house. You know, this tool could be calibrated, uh, traceable, that, which then you could use as a reference to calibrate your own indicators in-house. Other than that, I'm not sure what else you would use it for, but I'm interested to hear if anybody else has any other ideas or have seen other things. I like these kinds of uh, mechanical measuring tools. This has, you know, some interesting history and design to it that I find valuable to see and understand. Yeah, I hope that was interesting and helpful for you guys. Thank you.